I'm Michael Davis with Cross Robotics. Today, I'm going to be taking you step by step through the procedures for updating the software and the firmware for our robots from Universal Robots. This procedure is going to be the same for models UR3, UR5, and UR10, and it will also be the same for controller types CB2 and CB3. Prior to beginning this process, please check in the service manual in the guidelines for updating software and make sure that updating the software is right for you. Once you've powered up your robot, on the main screen on the Teach Pennant, select About, and this will bring you up to the About screen. As highlighted, you'll see that the current revision of software is 3.3.0.145. Make note of that and go ahead and close this screen out. Next, you're going to go to your computer and go to the Universal Robots Support website, which can be found at universal-robots.com slash support. Next to download files, select go to download. When I ask you to select the type of download, select software. Type of software will be robot software. And the controller type in this instance is a 3.1, so we're going to select that. And you'll see that it's going to bring up all of the software versions that you have to choose from. Since we have 3.3.0.145 currently installed, we're going to install the newer one, which is 3.3.1.237. If you had an older revision, such as 3.2.18744, we would recommend that you install each newer software update sequentially until you get to the newest one, rather than skipping any of the updates. Once you've selected it, it will bring you to the download screen. Go ahead and select download, and once it's saved onto your hard drive, put it onto a USB drive, and then remove that USB drive from your computer. Go back over to your robot, and on the Teach Pennant select Set Up Robot, and then Update Robot. This is when you want to insert your USB stick into your Teach Pennant. Select Search. In this example, we're going to update to version 3.3.1.237, so we'll select that and then select update. At this point it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to install the software. Go ahead and select install software. At this point the installation process will begin. During this process it may take you back to the initialization screen of the robot and ask you to turn it on and press start. It will keep performing the update in the background. It may take you to a screen that looks similar to a DOS pump screen and show you the steps that are going on in the background. Once it's complete, at times it will take you to the initialization screen one more time and you'll hit on and start. And this is generally when the firmware will update on its own. After this whole process is complete, go back to the main screen on your Teach Pendant and select About. This is where you'll see that you now have the newer version of the software installed. For firmware, it is usually updated automatically whenever you update the software. In some instances, say after you've replaced a joint, you may have to go in and manually update the firmware. In order to do this, go to the main screen on the Teach Pendant, swipe your finger across the word universal, and then you're going to input the password, which is Lightbot, and select OK. Go into low level control. And under the General tab, hit Turn Power On. And this will take the status of each joint from Power Off to Bootloader. Go to the Firmware tab. And if you're only updating one joint, say if you've replaced a joint, you'll select Current Joint and select the joint that you would like to update. These are labeled J0 through J5, which correlates to the base through RIST 3. In this instance, since we're doing all joints to update firmware on the entire robot, I'll select all joints and update firmware. The updates will begin one joint at a time, starting with zero and going up through five. After you see success firmware updated for the final joint, or for the one joint if you're just doing that one joint, you can go ahead and hit the back screen and return to normal. And that is all you have to do to update the firmware. The only thing I would recommend after this is moving the robot around to make sure that you're not having any issues and possibly running one of your programs. Thank you for taking the time out to watch our video tutorial today. 
Hopefully now you'll have a better understanding of how to update the software and the firmware for our Universal Robots Fly. Should you have any questions or just want to check out more of our product offerings, check us out on crossrobotics.com or shopcross.com. Again, thank you for watching.